a special treat for me and for all of you. Please welcome Lucy Waverman, food writer, Melvin Mail, all around food aficionado. You are. You know what? Your recipes are very beloved in my home. Clearly not by me, my husband. He loves them. He'll tear them out of the paper. He makes them. They're great, great recipes. Well, they stand you. the test of time. Your food just tastes amazing. So today, a recipe that seems very simple, but I'm sure with you doing it, it's going to be bursting with flavor. Arctic char yep. with potatoes, crisp potatoes. This is um, Arctic char. Yeah. And Arctic char is sustainable. It's um, from way up north. It has a lovely, lovely flavor. But the thing is, the fillets are kind of thin. Yeah. And when you have fillets that are this thin, you're better to slow roast something like this than to do it high. Because when you do it high, it's in the oven for about two minutes, and you can never tell whether you're overcooking it or not. Right. But when you slow roast it, you can. So that's the dish that we're going to make today, slow roasted artichoke. char. Okay. And because it has a very succulent texture, we're going to pair it with crisp potatoes. So nice. to make crisp potatoes, put in a tablespoon or so of olive oil into a nice pan. And then we're going to use about a third of a cup of pancetta, or you can use bacon. Yeah, and I mean, I think that should have been said right off the top of the show. There's and that's be pancetta with these potatoes. And Yum. So if you're if you don't eat meat and you want to eat fish, just to, just leave this out. Sure. But as soon as you can start to smell it, which we can right now, mm -hmm. we've got diced potatoes, and these are red potatoes. The reason that we use red potatoes in this dish is that red potatoes have a softer texture. They're not floury like Yukon Golds are or like nice. those kind of potatoes. What they have is this lovely creamy texture. Nice. So you put them in. And what do you like about Arctic char? I mean, is it is it the, is it the size of the fillet? Is well, it... the, the size is perfect, yeah. one per person. They're about eight ounces. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing that I like about Arctic char is I like the flavor. Yeah. Now, this recipe, so we'll just let this cook for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to add shiitake mushrooms. Oh, nice. And I didn't notice that in there. Yeah, so by the... Magic of television. Yeah. Okay, so here they are sautéed a little bit, so they're kind of a nice brown color. And into this, you add shiitake mushrooms. You could add regular mushrooms too. The thing about regular mushrooms is that regular mushrooms have got a little bit more liquid in it, yeah. so it makes the potatoes a little soggier. If you use shiitake, they don't have as much liquid. Okay, that so makes sense. Let's and you're putting the shiitake, the mushrooms in sort of later. Later, a otherwise later they would on. be too cooked. So okay. we're gonna let this cook. And now we're going to do the Arctic char. So let me bring it. So a nice slow roast. You know, often when we have fish on the show, it is a pan sear on a high heat. Yep. So it is good to make that distinction that this is a fish that is going to taste better with and some it, slow roasting. And it's by slow roasting. And the reason that I like slow roasting yeah. is you throw it in the oven. It's in there for about 20 you minutes. Go you, you go away. You don't have Come to watch back. it, and it always comes out perfectly. And you can have these made ahead of time if you want to. This can be a good company dish. Good. So we're, because this comes from the flavor principle, yeah. um, in the flavor principle, we have all the chapters are flavors. This comes from the herbal chapter. Okay. So we're going to make a herb butter. And we've got um, chives and parsley and lemon thyme. And if you can't get lemon thyme, regular thyme is fine. Okay. And shallots and a little bit of grated lemon because grated lemon with fish is really great. And some capers. And the reason that we use capers in this is for salt. So that right. you don't actually really have to do anything more then mix this together, and certainly, if you want to mix it in the food processor, yeah. it's, it's, uh, it works very well, too. Do you warm up the butter at all before you do that, or you don't need to? Just uh, make sure room it's room tem temperature? Room temperature, that's okay. all you need. And then Excellent. what you do is you serve this butter, you use it as a little bit of a marinade mm -hmm. on top of the fish, and actually, it really is easier to just use your hands. To use your hands in this. Where did you come up with the idea of, of sort of splitting the book up by flavor? Because I think that is very smart. A lot well, of us eat that way even when we don't realize we're eating that well, way. I we're think, eating for flavor, right? Yeah, and you know what? You've hit it on the head. People don't realize that they're eating for flavor. Yeah. And when you want to match food and wine with it, mm -hmm. then I think that you find that, there, that's good. 
So this is going in the oven. Okay. So it's going in at 250 degrees. This is really low, okay? 250 degrees. For how long? 25 to 28 minutes. Oh, perfect. That's like half you an episode of, of City Line, right? Exactly. And because you go lots of time to do episode, something else. Come back. You have so. to come back, though. Don't do what I do. <laughs> Watch half an episode and have a cup of tea, take a nap, go back, the fish is burnt. Don't do that. And here we go. Here's the finished one. Ta-da! Um, Could you believe that's been 25 minutes? It was 25 minutes from there. And can you see that there are white juices? Yes. And that's the, that's the sign you're looking for. Mm -hmm. A little bit, not too much, otherwise the fish is overcooked. Yeah. Now this, this, text, this will have a totally different texture from very fast cooked fish. It is so succulent and mm. delicious, it's wonderful. And very tender, which and, is what you're looking for. Yeah. That is excellent. And then you serve the herb butter, like roll it in some um, plastic wrap, yeah. So you've got a roll, and then you cut it, and then you serve a little dot of her butter over it later. Very smart. Very and lovely. It this. smells amazing. So as she mentioned, this is all from the Flavor Principle. After the show, we are going to be drawing for copies of the Flavor Principle by Lucy Waverman.